All right, guys, I wanted to show you my latest um, install for my Tesla 3. I got these back uh, uh, back uh, diffuser skirts. Um, this is just the first part of my, my kit for the um, rear of the Model 3. Um, these were pretty expensive, and these, just these little parts here, and they took like over a month to get a lot of these parts for the tesla um these are custom made and they're very hard to get i mean they're not very expensive materials but these are very hard to get especially with the covid times right now and these are getting shipped from out of the country um this one was actually pretty easy to install unlike my front bumper and my side skirts these were very easy to install I, I thought i would have to like you know put screw holes on there and then have it aligned first the hardest thing for me is aligning them to make it look perfect but anyways um let me just show you how easy it is uh so i'm not even going to use a double-sided tape because i'm still waiting for my rear diffuser which is a big piece and i'm still waiting it's been two months now and i'm still waiting in the mail um stupid airplane man um, okay, so anyways, it does come with its own screws, but um, as you can see, there's a hole here and a hole here. And so normally when you try to mount this up, you would think that you would have to kind of come over here and line it up like this, which it doesn't line up perfectly when you do it some, uh, just, just with your hand. Um, but let me show you... Um, what it is okay so basically underneath the model 3 so i have a 2020 model 3 i don't know about yours but for mine i'm pretty sure it's the same for both if you look right there there was a screw right here in this spot here and also there's a another screw right there so i took it off and you can see right there that there was a piece of screw there and a piece of screw right there as you can see see it but it's right there so um what it was is it was this this screw here i'll show you this side all right so what it was is it's this screw here and um it was just basically popped underneath like this already i don't know what it's holding or whatever so i took one of these since i don't have um the other tool to do it and I just loosened it a little bit and then I was able to unscrew it. And then what I did was I put it inside this hole here. Let me see the bottom side. I put it inside this hole here. And you could either push it through or just screw it in. I just kind of screw it in. The other side I just pretty much push it through. And you just put it through there. And to my surprise, if you just follow the hole, it actually lines up perfectly with where the screw holes are. So it fits perfect inside. I just have to tighten it up. I'm waiting for my rear diffuser to see where it ends up. But um, I'm not going to take these tapes off. It, it'll stay on without the tape. And let me go to the other side to show you what it looks like. I brought the screwdriver out just to get ready for it. But I actually didn't even need it. But anyways, it looks like this, and it's on there pretty sturdy without the double-sided tape. As you can see, it's on there pretty sturdy. Just this part, you could just kind of pull it apart just a little bit because I'm not using the double-sided tape. But um, as far as the road, if you're not going off-roading and just street riding, it's perfect. It's not going to fall off. It's, it's on there pretty good. So anyways, this is what it looks like. Um, I will bring... Let me see here. Show you the underneath part of it. And um, that's what it looks like so far. Um, doesn't go as low as my side skirts there. But so far, as far as um, it looks a lot better with the kit. The back side was like always high and it was missing something. But um, now that I got this on, I'm just waiting for my rear diffuser to come in. And, um, you know, then it'll be complete. There's only like two other companies that make body kits for it and they're ridiculously overpriced. Like you can paying just like almost like six, seven, eight grand for some stupid front bumper side and back. And I spent way less than that for these and it looks just as nice. So I'm just waiting for the back piece, which I paid close to $600 for. I'm just waiting for it in the mail 
and um, then it will be complete. If you guys got any questions or comments or if you want me to post more videos or anything like that, you know, just let me know. And uh, I'll be happy to do that.